Do you want to turn your normal fan into a smart fan? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today we're going to be showing how you can turn your normal fan into a smart fan. So that way you can make your home a little bit smarter by having your normal fans being smart and being able to be controlled with your voice, with your phone, however you want to control them. So the first thing we're going to need for this is the hub. In this case, we're going to be using the Hubitat Elevation Hub to be able to control our smart devices. The other thing that we're going to be using which allows to turn this fan into a smart fan is a smart plug. In this case, it's going to be the Zeus power plug. We're going to connect the fan into this plug and the plug itself is what we're going to be controlling with Habitat. And then the other thing that we're going to be using is a smart button and you're going to see why this is going to be helpful as well. So let's get to it. So let's start by including this new smart plug into our system. So to do that, go to the devices, click on discover devices. This device is going to be a Z-Wave device, so click on Z-Wave. And now click on start Z-Wave inclusion. And now let's go and plug our new device and put it into the inclusion mode. So there we have it, it detected it already, give it a name, in my case I'm gonna call it fan. Click on save. And that's it. Now all we have to do is plug our fan into this smart plug and then we're good to go for the next steps. Now that we have included this smart plug into our system, let's start configuring it. So the first thing I want is to be able to also control this with the dashboard. So go into the app section, go to the dashboard that you want to include this device on. So in my case, it's going to be the ES control. And then on your devices, make sure that you include here your fan so that way it is available for you to use on your dashboard. So select it, click update and click done. So now go to your dashboard. Go to that specific dashboard. Again, in my case, it's the ES control. And now go to the plus sign on your dashboard to be able to add this new device. So select the new device fan. And then this smart plug behaves as a switch. So let's look for the switch template. Click on switch and then select the location where you want to place this tile. In my case, it is going to be here. And in my case, I want it to take three columns. So Let's expand that to three columns and click add tile. The tile has been added now. If we go there, we can see right here, this is the fan. So now, if I click here, it's gonna turn on that smart plug and if I click it again, it's gonna turn it off. Now, in order for this to work all the time, you have to make sure that your fan is always on because if your fan is off, it doesn't matter if you turn on or off your smart plug, 
the fan is gonna remain off. So you have to make sure that your fan is always on. So that way you can control the fan from the plug itself. And then when you do that, then you're gonna be able to control it through here with the dashboard or with your voice or this other way that I'm gonna be showing you in a moment. So maybe you're this type of person that still prefer to be able to turn on the fan right on the fan. And since we're doing this, like I mentioned before, you have to make sure that your fan is always on. So what we're gonna do to work with that is that we're gonna use that smart button that I mentioned at the beginning. So we're gonna put that smart button, we're gonna stick it on the fan so that way you have a device right there on the fan that you can just go and press and turn on the fan. So I already have this smart button in my system, so I don't need to add it. So let's go into the apps, click on rule machine, click on create new rule. In this case, I'm going to call it fan control button. Click on select trigger events. Click on select capability for new event trigger. And in this case, we want to select the button device. Click on select button device and select the specific device, the specific button device that you want to use for this fan. In my case, it's going to be this fan button. Click on update. And as you can see, it's already pulling more information. So what I want to do is that I want to click here in Prefill All Button Actions 4 and I want to do the Pushed. Now in the case of this button device, it only has one button, so that's why I did that. If you have another button device that has more than one button, maybe you can do that or maybe you can just do the Add Another Button Action, which at the beginning will be the first button. In my case, this is the only button, that's why I did the pre-fill option. And you have other options, you can do the double tap, you can do the hold, in my case I wanted the push, so that's why I did it for the push. So, click on select actions for button 1, push. Click on select action type to add, and then like I mentioned before, this smart plug behaves as a switch, so let's go and select control switches, click on select which action, in this case you want to be able to turn it on if it's off or turn it off if it's on. So the easiest way to do that is to toggle it. So it's going to do the opposite of the current state, so click on toggle switches, click on toggle switches and select the fan, so click on fan, click update. Click on done with this action. Click on done with actions for this button. And that's it. So the trigger event is going to be when you push that button. And what it's going to do is that it's going to toggle the fan. So click done. So there you have it. So what we did is that we turn the normal fan into a smart fan by using this smart plug. Again, this only works if you keep your fan on all the time, so that way you control the smart plug with your voice, with dashboard, or with the button you just created. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please hit the like button, also subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be creating more videos like this and you don't want to miss any of them. So to make sure you don't miss any of them, click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you for watching and see you next time.